for them timbo sugar show brian we should put it right next to it okay episode 73 74. sponsored by valleywideglass.com thanks kev and happy valley pipes company.com not happy valley get... pipes company.com happy valley pipes Com. Yeah. yeah, you can get custom pipes. They made us a bunch of custom pipes. You want to get a a gift? A gift? Um, they really are a perfect gift. Oh, dude! You can get any gift. picture on there. You can get a a pet. Yeah, and I'm looking for the discount me. code. <laughs> real quick. You want to send a pipe. But yeah, happyvalleypipes.com. Get custom pipes sent to your goddamn door. Take a little ripski out of them. Yeah, and the code Timbo Sugar Show for fifteen percent off on there if you want ours. Plus, we're gonna be giving away if you follow us on Instagram at Timbo the Timbo Sugar Show. We're gonna be giving away once a week. So Let's go. that's it, baby. Once a week. Yeah, once Damn. a week. So fight week. We just got done with UFC two forty eight, and it was a good week. It was one of the best fight weeks I've ever been a part of. So you don't get. I, it's like scary to think. It's like, damn. Okay, you can't get much better than that of a fight week we just got to replicate that and i was doing good at just focusing on all the positive but i'm like dude this week's too perfect what the fuck that's what i kept thinking we knew so well the way jose moved what the fuck was gonna happen we yeah you can get a pretty good idea of you know someone how that how they're gonna fight according to their last fight like you can't change much yeah and it's like okay if he comes forward, he's going to get knocked out. Mm-hmm. And if he lets me back him up, he's going to get knocked out. Yeah. If he takes me down, he's going to get choked out. So with those three things, it's hard to be like, fuck. Yeah. It's well, when, when, when people are with you, when people start, when they overcommit on their punches, you're so good at countering. Yeah. So people better have sharp fucking punches and a sharp jab or they're going to get countered with something. And the, And who knows from what side, you know? exactly that's the thing it can be countered from everything but But, what made it day by day we showed up there sunday went to the pi i feel like we just were so good like for me traveling i get a little anxious for something i just felt like every i felt like i was like what the fuck i feel so good yeah the weight was never really an issue Mm -hmm. like just like i'm gonna just commit to this and the weight's gonna come off the weight was never an issue because of how good your discipline was. Yeah, it, it's you follow that fucking discipline. You just follow it, and it's easy. But it's because what two fights ago, or was it one fight camp ago? Dan Garner gave you the nutrition plan, yep. and you stuck to it. And I think what made it even such a smooth trip for me for past your pro fights. Remember, I was trying to make your food in true. the hotel, and I was trying to take pics and all the content. That's but having true. Danny there, she pre-made all Sean's food. Having JX there with the pics and content, it made, made it, it just easy, such you know. a good, enjoyable trip. But both of us, too, were, we remind each other to enjoy every step of the week. Yeah, I feel like I definitely did, too. Like, God, it was so perfect. It, it was, was pretty fucking crazy. It was crazy to see... You were out for two years, and how calm you were. Like you said, you barely even breathed out of your mouth. I didn't. I don't. I, I want. I wish I could see my heart rate. What it got to. I bet it didn't get. Like it was so low the entire fight and before the fight, it was so low. Yeah. Even the guy that was checking the doctor at weigh-ins. Um. So it's right when we get off the scale. Basically, he was checking my heart rate. He's like, "Your heart rate is very low for." going through all this right now or something so i think it was just a combination of all that breathing exercises i've been doing mm-hmm. and then just hitting those randomly like i did at least one xpt a day but i also did you know i do that box breathing or just mm-hmm. in- inhale through my belly and into my chest and randomly throughout the day and i think that just keeps my heart rate good and my mind good yeah Which, i think that even with combined with the meditation probably 100 percent. yeah that was and my sleep was on – my sleep in those four or five days was was never that good even at home. The consistency of my deep and my REM, my quality of sleep was insane. Yeah, I don't even wild. understand how 
because it i was like fuck we're gonna be in a hotel room there's gonna be a lot of stimulation a lot of fucking signals going through my brain but i brought my air filter my humidifier and my blockout shades or the blockout thing mouth I, tape mouth tape and i slept so fucking good it's crazy because when I was following a perfect diet, eating only what my body needs, uh-huh. not fucking extra shit, but now the last since the fight, I've been eating more, mm-hmm. not horrible shit, but even shit I shouldn't be eating, like just extra snacks. Mm-hmm. I wake up, I'm like, oh, ouch. Yeah. I don't want to get up. It's it's wild how much that bad food goes to your joints and your in- inflames your body and it's not even bad it's the overload of food it's the di- trying to digest more than you should be even if it's the most quality food overeating it, it's gonna it it makes yeah. i feel like my body's trying to digest all night and i'm like getting well, it makes sleep. sense too because if you, if all night the blood's going to your stomach trying to digest that food instead of going to your muscles and joints trying to heal everything else dude it, it makes, makes sense why so you wake much up sense. and smoking again after three weeks it's weird the mental clarity you get quitting. I'm like, every even if I've been asked this before, there's a thing where you can now in the MMA I think you can sign up get sign up for a thing where it says you use marijuana as a medical blah 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 and you can you won't get tested for USADA as a failed or whatever. Mm-hmm. But dude, I like the discipline it may you have to take to not smoke, like and the mental clarity that comes from it. It's fucking. Huge. I feel like a benefit. Dude, not having to rely on marijuana is really huge. It is. It is fucking huge. And God, it's crazy you just don't... Even me thinking about myself a couple years... Not even years ago, last year or whatever. It's like, fuck. What? That's just smoking every night. The only Well, the only reason I really do stop is for fight camp. Yeah. Which I'm thankful for because it is hard to be like, nah, I'm just not going to smoke this week. But he's like, he's like well... Fuck it, one little puff. Yeah, well, it's it's weird because especially the people who don't like just being with themselves and sitting with themselves, even in that Sam Harris, Sam Harris, the um, waking up app we were listening to, talks about what age do you learn to have better conversations with yourself? What age do you learn to have good internal talk? You don't really learn that at age, but you learn it from meditation. Yeah, it's weird to even think when did you realize you have, when you're aware of the internal talk. Like, obviously, everyone has it. But even think about when I was, like, 17, 18, 19, I didn't even it. think about I'm talking to myself. Uh-huh. Like, when you're aware of that, yeah, that's fucking, Dude. that's powerful. And it said, what was saying, too, one big benefit of being able to meditate is being able to let go of those negative uh-huh. emotions. And True. deciding how long you want to stay angry for or sad or whatever emotion is. It's fucking powerful. And it was saying, too, it's the symptoms of people's mind being totally out of control and not being aware of their thoughts or anything. That's where all the conflict comes from, the pointless suffering, all the stories you're making up in your mind, not being aware of your internal talk. Well, if you're starting, if you feel anxious, if you get that anxiety, it's not from anything other than your own thoughts. You're literally self-inflicting that anxiety with your thoughts. And if you don't have a meditation, you're not going to be able to navigate, okay, I don't want to think about this anymore. I don't want to think about the f- tomorrow. I don't want I want to think about right now or I want to think something something happy even instead of something oh, anxious thoughts. Yeah. It's fucking Well, dude, crazy. that's what I'm saying. Like you look so superhuman in that fight because you were so in the fucking moment letting your body do what we trained it to do. I felt like I let go. You of fucking all let thought. go. And you didn't hold on to a scary negative emotion like, oh, I could get knocked out. And then I didn't hold on to that. And then you're one. tense because of that. Yeah. Or, or uh, oh, I could get submitted. Or this is a big moment. Or I haven't fought in two years. You didn't have any of those thoughts because you know mm-hmm. how to put them in a different direction and just let go or just follow your breathing and, and be where your feet were now. And you could see it. And it was fucking wild to see. <laughs> It was wild. It makes me like two tingle. years off, and you look that fucking good, dude. It makes it makes me feel good, and everything feel good that we're just we're doing the right things. It just goes to sh- like even before the fight, we're like we're doing all the right things, but it just that just goes and proves like okay, we are doing everything right as far as the mental training, the physical training, yeah. the, f- the nutrition. Well, and the like, Paul Chuck. Check talks about it. Robert Falls used to talk about it. 
everyone's works out all the time. Everyone's always working out, working out their body. But when you, you got to work in, you got to sit there with yourself, work in, learn to meditate, um, just learn to breathe, sit there and breathe. Those are fucking just as important as working out. That's why I said I don't think there's any UFC fighter that's working harder outside the gym than me. Anybody, you can work, be like, well, I trained 15 practices this week, and I only trained eight, mm-hmm. but I'm working, my I had eight quality practices, and I'm working on the outside, which is just as important than having this guy who worked, trained 15 practice, this is, practices this week. Some good, some decent, yeah. but nothing on the outside, so... I take my recovery as a practice. Like, okay, this is one of my practices today. Dude, and it was so nice that fight week, how much we let your body heal. And even that fight camp, you didn't beat the fuck out of yourself because you were scared of gassing out. You did the work you needed to do, took the days off you needed to take off, and you went in that fight super fucking healthy. Yeah, it's nice because, like, my fucking foot, I'm sure we got some sweet footage, but, like, I said I went into that fight pretty fucking healthy, and I did, but two or no three weeks before so getting into my last spar and i kicked someone's elbow Mm -hmm. and so wednesday i couldn't walk thursday i couldn't walk literally couldn't put pressure on my foot friday couldn't walk and then saturday i was able to walk a little bit and then sunday a little bit and then monday we hit mitts um but think i took when the rest of wednesday thursday friday and I did a little, rode the bike a little bit Saturday, but that's like taking three, three and a half days off in the middle of fight camp, right before we're about to leave for Vegas. And I didn't think, God, I need to be. Do-. I was like, okay, I need to heal my foot. This is the most important thing right now is healing my foot, and then getting back to training. And that was a, it was nice. And I think, I think what stuck with me too was hearing uh, Bisbee's coach say it takes confidence to take a day off. It oh. takes confidence to be like, I'm good. I yeah. can't do anything. I'm good. I'm like, because fuck. yeah, because anyone who's trained for a professional fight or fought a professional fight knows, in the back of your head, you just you don't want to gas out. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure you get every single workout just so your mind's like, okay, I'm not gonna gas out, dude. That's the fucking truth. And even like going to that fight, there was times where I would think like, God, I just don't want to gas out. But then I would counter that with, I'm just gonna trust in my training. I've I've did three mm-hmm. fives or five. Three at yeah, three fives. I did those mitts hard, harder than in my fight. Because in my fight, I can nasal breathe. Like when we're hitting yeah. mitts, like I have to fucking take that air in because I constant output in my fight. I can I pick my output. Yeah. Like I don't. You're not telling me. Boom, boom, boom. So I get to pick when I get to explode and not. So I'm like, there's no way in fuck I'm gonna gas out. And if he wants to grapple, let's grapple. Like I can Dude. grapple. Oh, and nice. being a, just just like that, being aware of your internal talk and not letting those mm-hmm. negatives and feed off them and then let them build those negative emotions. Nope, fucking countering them right away. Mm-hmm. You told me that, what, fucking, probably when I was still an amateur. Counter. Counter when you're in one negative with two positives. That Rob, you said Robert said that? Matt Linland Matt told Linland. me that. Counter a negative with two positives. I remember that from a long time ago. That was good. Yeah, the whole trip too, because the first four days, me and Jesus got our own room. And then you nice. guys had your own room. And then the last three days, we stayed in all room together. Which wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. We worked out at the PI. It was fun working out at the PI. Got our snacks. And the thing is, too, with your diet, you were eating the whole time. You never, there was never Four a Four or point... five meals a day. But they were, like, they were just getting smaller. Yeah. Well, it did, not, it didn't suck. Because it was actually kind of, it's like part of the day. Like, okay, let's go eat. And I would just have to watch for the most part. Watch you guys eat good ass food. But it was still like something to do rather than sitting at the hotel yeah so just going out the, i'm like fuck i can't wait to get my <laughs> mouth on that but then you make weight and everything it's like it's back to normal yeah. but those thoughts you have about food it, it, it's like an it's interesting though because you're like god if i could just eat my life would be perfect uh, that's the that's truth you, isn't it that's literally well, what you just like think. we've said before mm. everyone should have to go through just a one weight cut just one I weight so. cut and it was I was really thankful, even to this day, for food just being w- mm. wired for eight weeks, not being able to eat any food for that's eight an, weeks. That's like a weight cut times ten. <laughs> well, that that was after a six week diet, oh. getting zipped shut. That's rough. Yeah, that would, but, that's fucked. That is fucked. What else about the week that just went so good? So you, I think you were one. The last, the night before weigh-ins, you were about four pounds over. 
I woke up, so I we waited no Friday wait. morning. I woke up Thursday morning at one forty three. Yes. Yeah. And then one forty two when we started the weight cut in the night. Yeah. And then we cut three. Got down to thirty nine, went home, ate some dinner, drank some snacks. And then woke up two point or no. One thirty eight point two. Yeah, so two point two pounds over. Went went in the hot tub, sat for one fifteen minute session, five out, and then another ten minute session, and then th- you were on. <laughs> it's crazy th- watching that one guy cut weight. Hold all for Rivera. Get in, you suck on an ice cube. Get out, get in, talk to go. It's like Panicking, just sit yeah. in that fucking thing and <laughs> fucking close. Just that's where, that's another thing where meditating and breathing came into hand. Like really came in. Because you do get some power, like, fuck thoughts when you're sucking that last little bit of water out of you. But if you can get there and just, I, w- I was just trying to follow my breath and calm my heart rate. Because my heart rate, you, your heart rate starts going fast in the hot tub and mm-hmm. you're cutting that weight and you're hot as fuck. So being able to breathe and slow, feel my heart rate slow down a little bit, that makes that time go by faster. It's like, fuck, that time feels like a while though when you're in there dying. Well, it's a similar effect to when you get in that cold plunge, your body's like panicking. Mm-hmm. It is a similar effect. It. Oh, God. When I was in that hot tub with the PI, the cold plunge is just right on the other side of the wall. I'd fucking flick water on my face. I just wanted to fucking... When we were in it. I just wanted too. to sit in there so bad. Just, oof. It's yeah, funny it's watching funny. some of those fighters try to... Like, Wei Lee. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was like Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday. We were sitting in the sauna, and then we went in the cold plunge, and just walk right in, fucking get breathing. She was in the hot tub, and she came and sat in the cold, <laughs> and like jumped out after five seconds. It was God, Wei Lee was so cute. I told her she was pretty. Jax got it for the vlog too. Oh, nice. I wanted to say pretty slash sexy. Be pretty bad slash sexy. Uh, <laughs> I think she would have liked it. I told her know. her camera girl after my fight, she, and I went up and gave her a hug. She's like. <laughs> but she had a little crush. The camera girl? One of the one of the ones that was in the white at the fight night. Yeah, we we made out. Not really, but like mentally we did. <laughs> Damn. I went <laughs> She did it back. Yeah, we... God being in the back, so it was me, Whaley, Jingling. Yeah. And the guy that fought uh Duran Win. But it was us Girl's Asians Mercer. back there. Korean, the whole Chinese. The red corner won every fight. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, the red corner. God, T-Mobile. It felt so weird because that was where we fought last time. And yeah. It just felt so similar, but different. Like I definitely felt more matured as a fighter. Yeah. But it felt so similar, like being in the back, doing this, doing that. It was fucking sweet having Brandon there. Yeah. Stretch, warm up my hips before, rub my anything that was hurt. My foot was hurt. Rub it. Rub my back. Like hypervolt me. Yep. And then just having Tank there, just you know, he's a fucking competitor. He's he, he understands the game, and yeah. if you know, if it went to the ground, and we for the mo- we were a hundred percent fine on the ground right there. But just having that extra knowledge yeah. there was well, it made know. me feel good because when we're doing the workout before, even if on Thursday night, all the jujitsu positions I was having you get into, and Takino's overwatching it, and he would have told me if anything was yeah. off or not. He didn't say anything, which is fine too. But it made you feel good. Okay, boom, we got it all covered. But having those guys there that we just really trust and that truly want the best for you and you know it, it felt so good. And being able to walk out of that cage all together and Ooh. enjoy that crowd, enjoy that movement, you're walking out of it healthy, not carrying you this time. Oh. It was fucking intense. It Dude, was sweet. It pissed me off so bad. Like I was right after the fight, my first, I was looking for Danny. Mm-hmm. Could not fucking find her. They I don't know. Usually they put him close up. And then fucking find out after the fight, they were some shitty ass fucking seats. I'm like, are you fucking serious? There's guys with on the pre prelims and their families around the cage and Danny's sitting up here. Like, what the fuck was that bullshit about? Yeah, that pissed me bullshit. off. But it's whatever. I'm just, I'm just going to dwell on that for a couple more minutes. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Do I, I streamed know, yesterday on Twitch. How was that? Shit was popping off. That's awesome. Got 75 subscribers. Shout out to the Twitch fam. Sugar Show underscore OG. 160 viewers like instantly. That's not lit. Is it? Oh. That shit was fun. And I didn't even play any games. We were just chatting. It was so sweet. Should we play a little Ford or Cod today? Yeah, I'm down. What we'll do for the Patreon too um, is we'll put your rehydration, what you did for rehydration 
or yeah. pretty much the rehydration and then the food we ate the whole night. Because there was there was even guys UFC fighters trifecta makes all your meals. The UFC takes care of all your rehydration. They never used to do that, but now they're doing that. But still, me and Jesus went to the uh, they gave us some food vouchers, so we went to the restaurant after the weigh-ins. You were still rehydrating in the room, but there was fighters in front of that buffet, fresh off of probably dieting for six to eight weeks, perfect food. And they're eating waffles and pancakes with Which syrup. Fire? Do you remember? Yeah, with syrup and just all the shitty food going into their body. I'm like, damn, dude. This now this is the feel your body's gonna run off on the most important day of the eight weeks. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't fucking believe that. And then take a rip. I'm like, that's wild shit. So Dominic Cruz at Whole Foods. You're kidding me. me. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I had some fucking pizzas last night. God, how fun was rolling last night? Came back, got in the gi. Monday, rolled. too. Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to roll tonight. Just being back in that gi, I'm like, fuck. Even, the, even that gym, too, the, the gym, we roll in and just the energy that people bring to the gym. Yeah. Everyone's just positive and it's just humorous and it's just having a good fucking time. Well, they, work, they go to work and maybe aren't having the best time, but they show up to the gym and they're like, woo, my, everyone, like... It's just a good energy, like you said. It is fucking positive energy, except when Jax goes. Such a fucking <laughs> yeah, it's badass. <laughs> but yeah, it's badass, badass. What other crazy shit going on the Schmo podcast? That was fun. Oh yeah, the Schmugger Schmo. Schmo and Helen, they're cool as fuck. Yeah, that was cool. Their their, their studio is pretty sick. That was a sweet. Po- that was like pretty sweet place. We're still trying to get our camera switchers going, but it's like holy it's shit. It's like Jesus, how smart are we? Not I like. I don't. Smart. I don't want to rent. Like I like their studio, but I want it to be our studio. Yeah. To where I can just poop in a corner if I want, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. If I got to poop or something. God. That man. podcast was fun. What else? There was so much media. And I was impressed how, too, you, there was oh. way more cameras, way more media on you than any other Seriously? fighters. Oh, that my media God. Day? Not not just that media day, but just in the backstage, all the cameras rushing to you. So the UFC knows like the potential you have. Oh, yeah. And you just fucking ignored all that and just rolled with it. It was fucking... For, I've been with you for what fourteen fights now, yeah, and not like one of those fights you haven't showed up ready to fucking go. Yeah, even, that's nice. even for the twenty five fight, <sighs> the fights that there was something going on, you've always just showed up and competed, and that's something I think you can teach to a point. But having it just naturally yeah. is fucking crazy. Yeah, that Alfred fight, that one, I was like. Thank God I showed up because that was rough. Well, think of how much just that fight alone could have changed everything. Oh, I know, dude. Everything. And that was the worst I, the worst I ever felt. And I fucking thank God showed up for that. Yeah, Whew. that was fucking sweet. It's yeah. It's funny how some of those memories are so vivid because emotion, like the more emotional something is, the more vivid the memories, and it's like fuck. Being backstage from that, it's like in that shitty arena, basic like that fucking workout room. There was, it was just like an open. I don't even know. I'm good, Dom for five. All right, get my mind right. Is this a fucking indie? No, it's a sativa. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's mine. We're gonna come out. With, the blog's gonna. The vlog's gonna be sweet. We'll see. It's gonna be sweet. He's just gonna Netflix whip up a style vlog. shit, baby. When's that shit uh, supposed to be released? Been getting asked a bunch on like uh, Twitch and shit. Probably by this weekend at the latest. Uh, sorry, I'm May. <laughs> nah, it's okay. <laughs> weekend, so probably on Sunday. Friday, Saturday. Oh, shit, oh. no way. So that'll be good. Because you're going, you're going to weekend. Montana this weekend or what? Yeah, I'm going to Montana this weekend. My sister's got basketball. Uh... State basketball. She's a senior. Gonna be last last time I'm ever getting to watch. So we're gonna surprise her. We're flying into Billings. No, Great Falls now. So that'll be nice. Oh, that'll be nice. Billings is just another sh- more more of a shithole. No, because I thought I was gonna have to drive three hours to Bozeman. Oh, but Billings Bozeman's two sweet. hours. You guys are gonna go to Bozeman or not? Yeah, we're going. To, we fly into Billings. We go to Bozeman. Fucking jack off and back out. <laughs> God, how good were those pizzas last night? Those were good. I wish we would have got them fresh out the oven. I know. Good. Fresh out the oven was completely different with the sourdough. I'm but sure. Danny but Danny gave Mariah still... hundred bucks to get her hundred dollars worth of sourdough. I'm like, yeah, that was great. <laughs> she dude. gave her a hundred dollars to grab her. So she's gonna clean that lady out. <laughs> Danny's crazy. 
She's crazy. Um, we're redoing the Patreon. There's already a bunch of good content up there. Full striking workouts. Um, some food food vlogs. What else is in there on there? All Coffee sorts of vlog. Shit. Coffee vlog. Stretch routine. But now for tier one, we're going to do the fight predictions. All the fight predictions coming up. Behind the scenes photos that no one else gets to see. Pods, podcasts, books that we're reading for the weeks. And... uh just shit that we're doing that's helping us improve like i told you the other day it's nice looking for things not like a nice car or clothes or anything looking for things to treat ourselves to that are just going to improve our performance or improve our recovery all around improve our sleep those are the best shit to shop for it is fun and then tier two we're gonna have cooking for performance vids so the type of shit we're eating for breakfast lunch and dinner it'll be simple um once a month and then tier three there's going to be the well, tier two of patreon exclusive those are the vlogs oh yeah those are the vlogs so the vlogs you get on so tier two tier five, three right the one. early access to the sugar show vlogs solo pod once a month and then the fan questions so any of the questions will answer there and then we're gonna do one bjj and then mitt vid a month too <sighs> So you'll get a bunch of shit, extra content. It'll be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little, 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 little Patreon shout out. <laughs> yeah, that so joint got me a little bit litty, boss. That's good. Oh, Norm Eckert ate a bag of edibles. I don't think we said that yet. Oh, just now, my Eckert's little baby. Eckert's high as shit. But they're they're only four milligram edibles, they're so 20, it's not like it 20 was twenty CBD, four THC. So they're and I think half were bad. gone. And half were gone. Yeah, but he's still tripping out there. Oh, he's walking baby. sideways, fucking wagging his tail up and down instead of left and right. <laughs> he's just going to go to sleep, I think. I hope. Yeah, hopefully wakes up. But don't. Boss. <laughs> but don't. <laughs> oh, he's stupid, man. Going on the scoots. Went on the scoots yesterday. That ESPN thing was pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I didn't get to watch it yet. I wonder, Jesus, if we can make the new intro for here and have that yeah, be part screen, of it. Oh, the part I screen recorded, yeah. Where the garage door opens. But up. when you screen record it, is it just as HD as it's... I think the sound's not there, that's but that's good. fine. But then you can add different sound and shit. Me singing or something. So you haven't got back to your cold yet? Cold no, I, I emptied it. I emptied it this uh, yesterday. I need to clean that bad boy out. But I'm going to Montana tomorrow, so I'm like, fuck. I I ended him with a cold shower last night. That felt good. I was... Oh, fuck yeah. That felt good. That cold is nice. <sighs> yeah, we got high and now we forgot what we were going to say about some shit. Fight predictions, just the main card, right? Well, we're going we're gonna to go over all the fight predictions for Patreon Tier 1, but just who do you got for uh, um, main event? What is it? Uh, Kevin Lee. Charles Oliveira. Is that the main event? Uh-huh. That's a sweet fight. That fight could just go either way. Sometimes Charles Olivier shows up. Sometimes he just kind of folds a little bit. His jiu-jitsu is nasty. Oh, yeah. And he definitely could get Kevin in trouble with his jiu-jitsu. Damn, 100%. that's a sweet fight. Mm-hmm. Where's that at? It's in like, oh, it's in Brazil. Oh, Gilbert Burns is fighting, too. Damien Maya. Fuck, that's a sweet fight. That's a sick fight. That is a sickness fight. Man, my tummy hurt. It's so sick. <laughs> Damn. Who you got there? This fucking Fuck, I don't even know, dude. Damian Maya, maybe. I don't, Gilbert Burns is so fucking good. That's such a sweet fight. I think fight. Gilbert It's probably going to be a striking fight. Gilbert. Dude, me and Gilbert just have, you know, we quint wet, brother. So yeah, it's for like, sure. Whatever, for whatever. Sure. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we, should, we should rewatch your fight. For Patreon. Yeah, for Patreon. Oh, we could do that right after this. We'll watch it and then just narrate it. Well, backing up, you clipped him with that right hand, wobbled him. Boom. Well, th- before. I hit him with that. I hit him like on the equilibrium right on the temple. When he was backing up? No, no, no. When he came in, that shot didn't oh. really land on the jaw. It landed like here. But before that, it was the same counter. He threw a loop and right hook, and I just threw a little like, just a little jab in there. It was the, it looked like the same transition from him throwing that loop and hook, and I was backing up, hit him with a basically a stipe kind of, but with a jab. And then the next time, he threw that same punch, but I sat down on a hook. And that's what kind of wobbled him. Boom. But it was the same attack he threw off of a giant a leaping right hook, and his was just off balance. His foot was in the air, and that's why it knocked him down. And then you rolled up and kicked him in the side of his head. Hit him with a juke. Hit him with a running back. Juke. Do do do. Because he, you can see, I've watched it in slow mo. You could see him react to the 
I went right, left, right, left, threw the right hand, head kick. But he was like, just oh. didn't know what to do. Yeah. That's and I told, and like I told DC and Anik before the fight, and I think I've said it pretty much every single fight, they don't understand how fast I am. Like, they don't get it. And I don't blame, mm-hmm. I don't, they, they watch it on TV and it's one thing. Mm-hmm. But when I'm in front of you, he just, it's like, fuck. Well, that's the thing, dude. Well, that's the thing. People who switch stances and have good fucking jabs both sides, switch stances and have good pull twos both sides, and can kick you in the head with either leg and have good strong teeps both sides, it's tough to get a read on because your partners can mimic it a little bit. But they can't mimic the speed and the timing and the range until you're in there. And then when you're in there with those little fucking rock hard gloves, dude, it's like oh, those gloves felt so good. I thought it was gonna be the left missile that got it done, but it was mm-hmm. this bad boy. Yeah, that uppercut was nice. Dinged him right on his fucking chin. Did you see it? More. Oh video. yeah, I watched it in slow mo. You see it, him oh. go boom and just rack his head. Yeah. Ooh. And then when I went to shake his hand on the the seat, he was he was gone. That ritual was nasty. He did perform the ritual on you. He was, it was nice. His team was nice. God, dude, it was so weird. I was telling Danny. I'm like, I f- genuinely... I've never felt like this after a fight. I genuinely feel bad. I'm yeah. like, I just fucking just... I'm obviously, he's in there on his own will. It's like he knows what he's getting into. Yeah. I'm like, God, I feel bad. He's yeah, from Mexico. Sure. Like, pro- I don't know. I was like, fuck. A big opportunity, but that's what he signed up for. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I was reading some of the comments on YouTube because I, I was like, everything I've read has been so positive. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, reading the comments isn't necessarily a good thing, but it's not a good thing because they get you a little upset. Like you've heard of. But yeah. I haven't read, all the comments are so positive. I've been reading them. Um, and then if there is a negative one, I la- it's funny. Uh-huh. Like it's, it's funny, but Danny and I were high. Looking, re- reading through the comments on YouTube, and it shit. That shit was cracking me oh, the fuck up. It's too good what the people think of because you know how many people it's so funny. Right, just were little rats at home hoping you fail. Oh yeah, hoping you fail. But <laughs> even the well, like the shit that was been talked for the last two years on social media. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's good. But the the pot, even like the just the not even mean stuff, just the funny stuff. Is I'm gonna try, let me go to one of the YouTubes and just try to read a couple yeah, because dude. it's so fucking funny. It was funny talking to the Schmo and Helen about them reading the comments too and how much you you look at comments and there's tons of positive to- tons of positive but the negative ones stick out the most. Yeah, and then you think sure. about those negative ones, but it's like, what the fuck am I thinking about that for? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Shaggy, where's the gain? I like the '70s porn look. <laughs> Um. Oh, what the fuck, someone? Like Seventies porn look, dude. God, I'm trying to find a good one worth. Okay, the ESPN is the one that was the funniest, because there was the most views. When you press randomize during character creation, <laughs> he looks like he's wearing a fake nose and glasses. This guy is, looks like the auditioning role for that '70s show. Yeah, sorry, I'm baked. I just don't give. A, oh my gosh, Howard Stern. I don't know. Maybe. It's, that's fucking funny. Looking though. like the human. Oh, this one is funny. Look like Ariel's younger Jewish brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sean wishes he was as black as Mike Perry. I don't know. Shit had me cracking so up last night. So in most of the interviews, Jose was saying he's going to break you? Yeah, I had I, I sat down with Danny the, right when we got back, and I went and watched his interviews of what and had Danny translate them. And they were all saying he was saying he's going to break me. His cardio is too good. I haven't fought someone as good as him. He's going to break me. I'm going to break him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to break him. Dude, and two years ago, <laughs> like you probably would have knocked him out too, but two years ago, if he grabbed a hold of you, who knows what would happen? Who yeah. knows? Could have been, yeah. Because we still don't know how good his grappling is. Yeah, exactly. And like, and people don't really know how good yours is yet, which, which is, is nice. Yeah, still a, still a fucking threat now because we fight someone – they're like, oh, let's just take him down. We can beat him. We'll just take him down. Mm-hmm. But if I would have choked Jose, they're like, fuck. We got to take him down, but yeah, we got to make be aware of this. Yeah. Now they don't even know. No. Nope. So, yeah, that it, it's still like a weapon we got. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Those teeps were money. They were. They're always money. The long fucking stabbing teeps. We're just putting him on his butt right away. It's so funny. You thought that was going to happen too with a punch. I thought I was gonna. he was going to kick my leg and hit him with a right hand, put him on his butt like an off-balance shot. Mm-hmm. But it was a teep. But it was funny that it happened. 
it was funny. Boom, teeps, and I walked up like. In those it, slow pictures and images, my face doesn't like doesn't change. change. It was like, which was fucking sweet. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. Big Joe Rogue, fucking. That was cool. I freaking love you. I had to say freaking because uh, Dana said no cussing on ESPN. So no was, cussing on ESPN. Huh? So that's why I said I freaking love you, Joe Rogan. I love well, you too, buddy. That shit's funny. <laughs> poor Joanna's head. Oh, yeah, our fucking seven head. And then fucking the Adam comedian making fun of her. <laughs> God. Saying her implants went to her forehead. Just what was fucked the, up. What was the other one? It looks like Joanna's got a lot on her mind. <laughs> it's fucked up. God damn it. That shit had me. Because I was high. That was the, I had smoked a joint right after the fight. And I read that shit. And I could not. <laughs> Would I still smash? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Doggy. <laughs> just missionary missionary lot. though <laughs> you're fucked up bitch don't talk about women that way uh, shout out to Adam the comedian cause that shit was funny yeah, as that fuck that was funny as fuck uh. <laughs> we got tats oh yeah we got tats can't tell them which ones nah tell the patreon yep the, the, the tat patron. girl how bad did she look her, or what I think her puss squirted oh That's she had the fucking... I felt it she wanted to fuck you bad. Huh. And that sucks. I didn't mind it. <laughs> you didn't mind it. You walked outside. I was feeling awkward. It was awkward. I didn't want to be around her as much anymore. But but she was a little slower, so it's okay. <laughs> well, I want. She was just a like different I, person. I think it was kind of she girl. was foreign. She, she had was an accent. foreign, Jobin. Seriously, I think she was slow. <laughs> Jay, what do you think? She said she was Mexican. She was whiter than me. <laughs> I'm Indian, bitch. <laughs> That's true. Let's show the let's show the Patreon and they can judge no, if she was foreign or not. No, 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 no. She was a six out of ten. Yeah, I'd say that. Which is good for me. No, it's not a six, Jobin. That's not a six. Uh, what do we add, Jax? Breaking news. Warriors planning to play home games without fans for sure. You know the not- coronavirus, people are, the, the so sporting events aren't having audiences. Like some sports what? are just going to play. Are you fucking That's serious? That's what this just said. It was so nice. For sure, future and the coronavirus outbreak. The Warriors plan on playing home games. Well, what did fans. Dana tell you guys? A bunch of the conventions were canceled. Yeah, he said a, Vegas was empty. The hotels were, f- for the most part, empty. The fucking all the conventions, all the things that were supposed to happen, got canceled. And the UFC stayed, and the fans fucking stayed with. And he was talking about how fucking sweet the fans are. And then just this just released now. The IBJJF Pan Jiu Jitsu Championships are next week, and. Looks like they're going to cancel them. Bullshit. Seriously. Damn, that's wild. And I'm traveling to Montana. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to a concert this weekend. <laughs> Dude, we shouldn't do anything. Let's fuck her down right in this room. But they podcast. said Nobody it's people with 24 hours. not good um, immune bad systems, immune systems and shit. or babies. Yeah. Um, Jiu Jitsu, it's not like you're fucking licking each other's sweat off each other's ass. Yeah, no shit. No shit. Damn. But I wonder how serious this shit's getting. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's, it's the news. It's like, fuck. But then I guess everything at Costco, people are buying everything off the shelves. They're putting a limit on shit you can buy because it's all empty. People are hoarding it so they can stay in their house. Dude, if I had a bunker down, I would just get back to addicted on video games. Bunker then, down. Why not just get a good routine too? Yeah, eight hours gaming, and then what? You have fucking sixteen hours left. Oof, eight hours gaming. No, I couldn't. I don't know if I could. I'd have to find another game that gets me that fucking. Well, we haven't played the Call of Duty Battle Royale yet. It's pretty dumb, <laughs> bitch. But you know, it was nice in the hotel not having to fucking just have that cable. We had the Roku, <laughs> so me and Jax were able to watch Flow Grappling. We were able to watch YouTube, Bad yeah. Baby. Oh shit. We would do flip flops, fuck her in the bitch in the socks. Yep. You know? We had all that shit. So that was good. That was a good breakdown. That was perfect, Jovens. <laughs> Episode 73. The Sugar Show is back and fucking healthy. Mission back, accomplished. Mission accomplished. 
Um, thanks to sponsors, valleywideglass.com, Happy Valley, Happy Valley Pipe Company.com. And check us out on Patreon. That this shit's going to be popping off. If you want to learn the techniques or ask us questions or learn what we're eating, we're going to put all the, all a bunch of shit on there. So patreon.com slash Timbo Sugar Show. Boom. And Episode we're going 73. Over, we're, let's go over my fight and post that on Patreon right now. Let's That'd do it. Good. They'll fucking let's love that. All right. All right. Peace. Pieces. Oh, yeah.